Hey, what is going on, everybody? Jeremiah here with a Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. And tonight, gonna be playing as the Engineer with the Widowmaker, the Mini Sentry Gunslinger, and the Pistol. It's gonna be on Barn Blitz Defense on the last point. But we are not gonna talk about the gameplay. We're gonna talk about the update stuff and how tomorrow, Wednesday, Ooh, meet the Pyros coming out, and we got a bunch of new stuff, bunch of new items, some new sets. I, my brain is racked right now. I cannot wait to talk about this. Now, how I typically do my update videos, guys, is I wait till it's all out. Wait till I can actually get my hands on this stuff before I give, obviously, my demonstrations and my first opinions on them and stuff like that. So that video will be out tomorrow. The second I can get my hands on all these items and make a video, it will be live on this channel. But in the meantime... Let's talk about what we've seen so far. So Monday, they showed us, in my opinion, the best part about this entire update. We're getting a new official game mode to Team Fortress 2. The last official game mode was D Groot Keep. And a lot of people don't even consider that a game mode. And now we've gotten stuff like Saxon Hale, we've gotten stuff like Prop Hunt and WarioWare. Those are all great community mods, but we haven't seen an official one in so long. So this is just so exciting to me. I can't wait to play this, can't wait to try it. I have no idea how the game mode works, but the way it sounds on the Valve website, it's kind of like Left 4 Dead 2 scavenge mode, where you had one team had to fill up a tank, and the other team had to stop them from doing that. And if the first team fills the tank up and the rocket takes off, then they win the game. And then they flip, of course, sides and it, it vice versa. So I think that's kind of how it's going to work. Maybe red team is defense, or maybe not. Maybe it's you're both fighting for the same rocket. Blue team and red team. That would be pretty interesting. You know, you have a bar on the top that goes back and forth, depending on how much fuel the certain side is put in. This is all speculation at this point, because I have no idea. But I do know one thing. It's probably going to be a lot of fun. So today, Tuesday, we got a bunch of different items for some of the classes. We got some scout stuff, sniper, soldier, and pyro. And I actually really want to talk about the pyro item. I'll go over the stuff obviously tomorrow, I'm going to do a big huge video on all this stuff. But I want to talk about the pyro item mostly. Link will be in the description for all these items, and you can scroll down and see what I'm talking about. This pyro item is a secondary, I think. But the stats on it are very, very odd. So for instance, it's called the Scorch Shot, right? Flare knocks back target on hit and ignites enemies in a small radius, and there's a minus 50% damage penalty on this thing. So my question is this, if this is a secondary, why would you ever equip this rather than the flare gun or the detonator or the shotgun? Knocking somebody back for a secondary, it's essentially a compression blast. But as a pyro, we use our compression blast to utilize our secondaries. So if I compression blast somebody and then switch to this and shoot them, I'm gonna compression blast them twice. I don't think it crits. I'm not sure if it even does any of those things the flare gun does. And the minus 50% damage penalty, I feel like this is a primary. I feel like it should be a primary, because I can't think of a use for it if it was a secondary. If it were a primary, think about launching somebody in the air with this, then switching to something like the reserve shooter, or the detonator, or the flare gun, and getting the crit. That would make some sense. That would be interesting, especially because of the minus 50% damage. You could essentially turn this into... A compression blaster, and that's its job, and that's what it's used for. But I think I have to stop making all these assumptions on this item before I even sit down and use it. But that's my favorite part about Team Fortress. Sitting down, speculating on items, because we don't even know. There could be more stuff tomorrow that complements this item. I don't even know yet. Nobody knows. That's the beauty of Team Fortress. So tomorrow is Wednesday, which is the launch of the update, and of course the launch of Meet the Pyro. So here's a little fun fact for you. Meet the Pyro comes out tomorrow. Meet the Medic came out exactly one year ago, and before that, Meet the Spy came out two full years behind Meet the Medic. So it's kind of interesting, they took two years to make Meet the Medic, and pretty much less than one to make Meet the Pyro. I remember looking at that coming in 2012 image that's on the main page, and I thought to myself, there's no freaking way they're going to introduce Meet the Pyro in the first or second quarter. There's no way. I thought this was going to come out in like November or December right at the very end of 2012. And I was proven wrong. And that's pretty awesome, because I can't wait to see it. So yeah, that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And let's see how this update comes through. Let's see how awesome it is. Let's see how cool Meet the Pyro is. I'm sure we're all going to be talking about this tomorrow. 
There will be a video on this channel tomorrow as well talking about all the items in detail, showing them in gameplay form. Just wanted to make this video telling you how excited I am and I can't wait for Meet the Pyro and I can't wait for these items! But yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys all next time and take care, everybody.